how to write, illustrate and publish children's book. In this series, today I'll talk about five things to know before starting a children's book or picture book. Hi and welcome to Daily Art Milestone. I am Renuka. Writing a children's book may look easy, but believe me, a lot needs to be done even before you start writing it. Here are five steps. Number one. You need to identify your target age group. Children's book or picture books are usually written for two age groups. The first one is for the age group 2 to 5 and the second for the age group 6 to 8. In 2 to 5 age category, the book is usually read by an adult to a child. Children are in their initial stage of literacy. In 6 to 8 category, a child may still read with an adult as well as read by himself or herself. In both the categories, you can use words that they cannot read yet because it creates an opportunity for introducing new words and concepts. The parent will explain it to the children. Number two. You need to decide if you want to take the fiction or the non-fiction route. I, here I have two lovely books that are fiction and two more that are non-fiction. Children love fiction and surprisingly they love non-fiction more. They are inquisitive and like to learn about the world around them. To be able to contribute in a discussion makes them feel good. So what's your book going to be? Number three, the size of the book. Books are usually printed in the multiples of eight pages. So your content should be spread accordingly. For a two to five year old reader, you wouldn't want to write more than 900 words in a book. Their attention span is short and they get bored quickly. For six to eight year old reader, you can go up to 30,000 words. In this book here, there's just one sentence per spread. The awful astronaut is for early readers and as you can see, has more words. Number four. What is the theme of your book? What do you want to convey through your story? Or what is it you want to achieve through the facts in your book? Once you determine the theme, you can focus on achieving it by good planning, which we will discuss in later videos. Number five. If possible, add layers to your story. What do I mean by that? Can your story be used to teach any part of the school curriculum? For example, let me read this book that I have here. It's called I Love You Always. Now here is the cover. It's a beautifully illustrated book. It goes like this. How long will I love you? A second is too short, a second is no time for a love of this sort. A minute is no better for minutes fly by. They are gone in a moment like a sweet butterfly. And are still nothing, it whirls by so fast. I love you much longer than ours can last. A morning is so brief, an afternoon too. From sunrise to sunset, I'll keep I'll keep loving you. Will I love you when night falls? Of course, and beyond. Will I love you tomorrow? Oh yes, and on and on. 
I love you for whole days stretched out in a time in a line sorry I love you for weeks and a much longer time I love you for months heaped up to the sky I love you through seasons as they bluster by I love you for whole years and though things might change as you grow bigger my love stays the same How long will I love you if you need to know I'll tuck you in tightly then whisper it low I love you for years and for months weeks and days I love you for hours and minutes and always I love you forever not one second less for that is what mummies and daddies do best you can see along with the story the concept of time is introduced schools and libraries have a preference to stock this kind of books so these are the five things you need to decide before you start to write a children's book in my next video i will walk you through the making of a children's book if you found this video useful please like and subscribe for more such videos in this series of how to write illustrate and publish children's book thank you and see you again in the next video